the, our main goal with this course is to uh, give our students the capacity to tackle complex tasks in the AC industry and automation, right? So what happens uh, with most people is that they they need to handle a lot of complex, complex and uh, uh, heavy duty tasks uh, that can be, most of them can be automated or improved with digital processes, but they don't have the, they don't know the tools. So it's not only about the tools. They don't know how to think, how to establish a, a, a proper reasoning on how to, how to achieve those goals. And that's part of the goal that, uh, that we, that we, do in our in our course okay so one of the things the, the most the foundation is to teach them um, computational thinking so that they and how to implement that in the IEC industry in different uh, methodologies so one of them is generative design another one is uh, data analysis and uh, design uh, design generation and uh, well inspecting models automation of tasks all of these so this is the the main goal is to to empower uh, engineers and designers on how they can um, improve their work okay and reduce the time it takes them to to do certain tasks as well defining uh, instructions sets of instructions that a machine can execute and how to connect them so basically it's like a, a Putting it in a very, very simplistic uh, manner, it's like defining a recipe for a meal in a way that the computer knows how to prepare that meal. So an algorithm is something like this. So you have uh, it, it's it's creating, uh, um, it's communicating with the machine. So creating a program, so uh, writing code. So it's a textual operation. Uh, so that. Uh, the machine knows how to follow a certain set of rules in a certain order to achieve a result. And we had uh, at least one or two students who actually changed professions. Some of them started their own companies. So they were doing, they were working as a designer for uh, a company uh, elsewhere, just doing typical uh, either architect or engineer, engineering tasks. And uh, they realized that there was a gap in the market and they could offer something else to the market. And they started a new company doing that, exactly that. And so as far as I know, they're, they're being successful about it. Uh, so that's one of the things that I try to, that we also try to convey to students is that uh, we are giving them, we're showing them the tools and teaching them the tools for them to, to be to have a larger spectrum of activity. So they don't need to be an architect who does houses or an engineer that does a specific thing. They can completely redesign and, and, and shift their profession upside down. They can do something else entirely. They can create a new way of working, a new application. Uh, and they, they, they have the tools to do that after finishing our course.